Hello, before I left, I saw this animation and I thought it would be cool to see a set. So and now I'll be doing just that. Uh, we're going to have a number of arms. So, um, number of arms, this is 8, and a number of rotating things, um, 10. Now, we put everything within a 3D assembly and then we loop. Number of arms keeps decreasing, arm. Uh, then we have another loop, this time a for loop. Let's try not to fall uh, in an infinite loop here. So um, the rotating thing is the maximum. And here I have the rotating element. Now I'm going to want to set an index on the rotating elements, but I have rotating elements for each arm and I don't want to set stuff for each arm. So I'm just going to set within a style right here. Uh, and I'm going to use the same loop because uh, it's stupid not to reuse stuff. And the child, um, yeah, I can't type. Um, I plus one. And here I set the index I. Okay, and this saw uh, should do it. Let's see. View compiled. Okay, this uh, this does it. It's good. Now here I'm going to set a base diameter, and this is going to be something like 0.25 ohms. Um, and here for the rotating thing, I'm going to increase the current diameter um, based on the index. So basically, I'm going to have something like uh, index plus one times the diameter, something like that. Um, and the width is going to be equal uh, to uh, this. Okay, I hate you. Um, height the same. Okay, and now let's just give stuff a background so we can start seeing stuff on the screen. Um, and yeah, I should have seen something on the screen, but I'm not. So uh, let's see about that. Okay, this uh, this looks good. Um, okay, so uh, I don't have anything in here. And that's why. Okay, this does it. Okay, this is good. Uh, next thing we want to do is set a border radius 50%. Now it's round. Okay, now everything. So, um, actually, I'm just going to uh, take this out of here and I'm going to use uh, before uh, and an after. Um, now, actually, I'm going to set the display block. I'm going to uh, add all this stuff right here. I'm going to uh, set content. Okay, now the background I'm going to use HSL. Um, let's say something. Um, and here I'm going to uh, use a switch. So 100% uh, minus. Um, the switch times 38% uh, something like that should work and this uh, switch value is initially zero um, and then I'm going to switch it for the after so um, I set the switch to position one for the after so uh, now you can see I have um, them alternating there okay uh, that's that's good now and the next thing I'm going to want to do is make all divs, uh, all pseudo elements, absolutely positioned. So um, doing this, I don't need a display block there. I'm also, so for all divs, uh, transform style preserve 3D. So I'm done with uh, this as well. Now the 3D assembly, 
I want to put this top 50% and left 50%. So um, this uh, does it. Uh, here I also set a margin, and this is calc on um, minus half. So uh, that's uh, directly in the middle. Now I also uh, here um, no, actually I'm going to do something like this two times the switch um, minus one uh, times and here I'm going to have D. Um, no, the current diameter, sorry. Okay, uh, so uh, this is uh, starting to look like something. Now, I'm going to uh, also set a margin left here, and this is also going to depend on the index. So it's going to be a calc, and the sum of the first um, i numbers up to the index is going to be half uh, times i times i plus 1. Uh, and this is going to be within parentheses. Okay, times... Um, no, uh, times the base 1. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and I want to make it a bit bigger, 1.25, okay, this uh, should do it, um, and here, I don't want this, uh, I'm going to use half, so that's going to do something like this, actually a bit more than half, something like this. Uh, so yeah, uh, this uh, this does it. Now, for the arms, I'm going to add in a rotation. And here I'm also going to set uh, some indices. So, um, style... Actually, I'm not going to uh, set indices. I'm going to uh, set a sort of a progress kind of thing. So, um, this is my progress. And... Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's replace this. Um, so, um, arm, and this is not going to be I, this is going to be uh, J. So, um, here I have uh, J over the number of arms. So uh, this is my progress at this point. So for every arm, I'm going to have a transform or uh, rotate. And here I have calc. And this is my progress. So the progress k times one term, because I want to go around the circle. So now I have something nice and round looking. Okay. Uh, but I don't want them uh, to start from the center. I want a bit of an offset. So uh, let's say, actually, I'm going to need to compute a factor here. So um, here, uh, star. So let's compute this factor. Um, I need to interpolate, of course. 1 over tangent. Um, pi over the number of arms. Okay, so now that I have this uh, factor, I'm going to use it in the offset. Um, so our uh, calc, this is going to be my factor, uh, times um, I want it a bit bigger, so that's going to be 3. So uh, here I'm going to have margin left, uh, that offset, and I'm also going to do um, transform origin, that's going to be calc uh, minus 1 times uh, that offset, and 
the rest uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I have my arms positioned correctly and everything. Uh, next uh, up, I'm just going to do uh, rotation. So um, keyframes, rotate, and let's say that I start uh, with something like uh, transform or uh, rotate um, one turn. I'm going to make this rotate X. Now let's set that animation. So animation, um, that rotation. Oops, I'm going to need to set um, an animation duration. Let's say two seconds or something like that. Okay, now let's go back here. I'm going to use that animation duration. Um, li linear. Infinite. Okay, so um, this uh, stuff is just uh, going to uh, rotate. And that's uh, good. Thing is, I'm going to uh, take this and I'm going to set it to an animation, a custom property. Um, and I would have used um, inherit, but I'm going to have more than one animation on the pseudo elements, so that's why I'm not using inherit here. So um, here, I'm going to have animation. Um, reverse. Now this isn't working and it's not working because I haven't interpolated this. Um, I need to interpolate the values for um, set to custom properties. Okay, so uh, now this is starting to work and look like something. Uh, but let's add in a bit of perspective and stuff like that. So let's do a margin uh, zero here. Let's also do overflow hidden. Um, Actually, I'm not going to need margin zero if I do overflow hidden, because that was the whole point of the margin. Uh, height, make this full height. Okay, uh, and also set a perspective, uh, something like, I don't know, something like this. It's pretty exaggerated, but... Uh, okay, and now we're also going to add in a delay. So, my delay... So um, my animation delay is going to be calc, um, and this is, again, it's i, uh, and I'm going to need to, um, to set the number of rotating things. So um, um, yeah, I'm going to set it there. Number of rotating things is... Okay, so um, I'll be doing that. Now, let's see. Here I was, times minus the animation duration over should now do it but it doesn't so um it means something's wrong okay um yeah obviously that's why okay it should now work okay and it does it's working now we're going to want to have another animation um Let's collapse the whole arm thing and let's collapse uh, the body. Okay, now another animation right here. Um, so um, keyframes fade uh, to opacity, let's say just point 0.1. And don't bring it down to zero. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to have a second animation here. 
uh, this is going to have half the same animation duration um, and it's going to use a calc this is the same uh, delay as before and we're going to add something else but for now it's just uh, that uh, delay um, is in okay uh, infinite uh, alternate okay now what I'll be adding in here is so first of all uh, by a quarter I offset everything by a quarter um, and I'm also going to use that switch to maybe offset by one extra half um, times the duration T okay so um, yeah uh, this um, pretty much does it um, I think it also depends on the arm that delay so um, I'll be adding that in as well so if it also depends on the arm I'm also going to need another actually I just I have the progress so I can uh, add that in as well um, let's think about this uh, so I'm just going to remove this from here um, that and I'm going to uh, multiply with it um, and here okay and let's say 0.5 let's do something like that Okay. Actually, do it like this. Okay, it's uh, it's nicer this way. Okay, it's uh, it's better this way. I'm going to leave it like this. This is uh, the final result. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more in the future please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description below. You can do it with a donation and remember any amount can contribute towards helping me stay afloat and not ending up dying in a trash can or something. Or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist and again the links are in the description for that. Or you can support the implementation of the cool stuff used here that doesn't yet work cross browser. For example, using calc as an animation delay or as an angle value it doesn't work currently in edge so um yeah that's still an issue in any event thanks for watching